behind the scenes of Lil Chase. He went to us all over from two hours away from Sacramento. He traveled to have a shoot with us and in two hours he has he will have doctor appointment. So I have to use all my time possible to do the best shoot for him. Now oh, here we go. All right, I'm starting my shoot on a beanbag, babies wrapped in one coat of white wrapping. I place the baby on baby's side. The light, it's a little bit 45 degree to the camera, a little even closer to me. I like this white super look, like white on white. And um, he fell asleep right away. So, and I'm gonna just do a few adjustments and see and check in if I like it or not. And then I'm gonna start my photo shoot. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me, I have something in my... <coughs> All right, and without without transferring the baby to any other position i'm going to add just one little things and then um, do the same shot and then parents will choose which one they like the best from the same pose from the same color from the same position just a little details you can add like a hat or like a bow or if you want to change to from if you're shooting for example, the white blanket you can change to wrap actually white wrap blue wrap i don't know it just i like it to start plain white just to have this clean white cozy look so i always shoot on IL level and then all on the from the head shot from the head level a little higher all right i'm transferring the baby straight You, I could do this shot, just move the baby, but um, I just love the way I have my routine. So I finish all my photo shoots less than in two hours of babies only. And we have huge collection. All right, always have your camera over your shoulder with use straps, make sure double, double safety. All right, we moved our light as you see a little bit on a side just total side a little higher up all right and i'm just uh, without again moving the baby i have blanket that is hanging down i'm gonna do just a little kind of um, bed look bed little tiny bed like creep look I would say I could start without a hat but uh, you can do with a hat or it's here wherever you have you can start with that without a hat and then you can add a hat you can have this blanket free hanging like a wave or you can stretch, make it stretch, make it even so it's nice and um, neat. I, lo I love, love, love playing with this um, uh, hat. I forgot the, the word. Straps, I think. Always camera over your head. Baby sleeping. So mama requested the little bears. It's our famous shot, signature I would say. So I love these little toys. They're tiny, cozy, cute. Almost every client gets them. And they will get it until I get another, another set of toys. I love using what I'm having. I love creating something new, but there is routine that uh, I know if I follow, uh, clients get their photos and um, best photos, what I would say, all 
almost every pose and a uh, beautiful collection. If I decide to go, okay, let's unwrap the baby and do this and this and this, you're stressing the baby, you, um, you might forget, okay, what should I do next? You forgot, but I have my routine that I always follow and you can see in this uh, pictures and tutorials. So, with, so we don't unwrap baby until I get around like, like 20 shots or 20 different shots. For example, if I deliver clients a collection with 25 pictures, we, 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 do, we deliver 20 pictures. So for example, if I deliver 20 pictures, so, and the baby's sleeping when, when baby is wrapped, I would rather have 20 wrapped, beautiful different pictures rather than five wrapped and wherever, if baby will be, for example, we don't know how baby is doing, uh, when baby is unwrapped, so we, we will never know um, because every baby is different. Even though if you have your uh, lavender spray over your studio or you warm up the studio, it's it doesn't matter because ba every baby is different, and we work around babies. So we don't we can like oh no baby go in this pose because I need this pose oh because oh mama your mama paid and I need to no, just work with the baby. Do as much as possible while baby is calm to variation, um, close up, full length, sideways, uh, add some toys, add some blanket, uh, or add some hat, just to get um, as much as possible before baby, uh, before unwrapping the baby. As you see, this is my still first wrap and we're almost only a few minutes shooting and I already got my five shots, I believe, yeah. All right. This baby's so cute. He's so tiny, so tiny cute. I forgot, I think he's five days old or six. All right, so what I like to do right after the first poses on beanbag, at a four. Four always makes babies look so cute, so soft, so cozy. We placed a little donut under the blanket and um, and I like to get some texture. For example, if I have warm blanket, I'm adding warm alpaca or any crochet uh, wrap will work. As you see, I just put over, I didn't even wrap, I didn't even bother the baby, I just put, since it's short, so I just, as you see, I'm redoing this, take your time, don't rush, don't think, oh, I'm gonna edit this in Photoshop. No, get, re get in camera, get everything right in camera because um, you are a photographer first. <laughs> he is so adorable. Yeah, if you have a little hair or a little Oh, something um, not the peeling. Don't do the peeling. Just a little hair, maybe from your uh, blanket or from the floor. Just remove it because uh, it's invisible when you're looking. But uh, right, uh, like we, we, it's visible only when you're looking close. But when you shoot on camera uh, and then on the photo, it's super visible because the light light falling on it and shines, and you have to remove it. Remove from one one just gesture instead of removed from every single photo. Again, I shot just without a hat and I added a hat just to complete the look. Play with the straps. I always like to do it differently. It just, I'm, 
I'm doing this if the baby is um, squinting a little bit. So I did the full body shot and I did tiny shot. So I removed the hat and added glasses. I love these glasses and this little bow tie. Bow tie is cute. So when you do the glasses, make sure you have a glare. Aww. Gently position the baby's face back to the lighting you want to achieve. We have our lighting on the side, a little higher from the bottom, raised up from the bottom. Baby's still getting to sleep, it's okay, baby's moving, uh, baby's not in deep sleep. This bow tie is a little too big for, for this baby, so I might tuck in under the baby's chin, but I, th I think in a, on a photo it's, it looks a little big. <coughs> it's, for example, if you do glasses, let me place, for example, if I added uh, glasses, so relative to gla glasses are maybe some farmer's hat or books, so something that matches the team. Keep it, for example, this is warm. We had warm blankets, okay? So we got our shots. I don't know how many, so I just got the idea that I want something else. You see, I forgot and already removed the baby from the pose. So I, because I want the potato pose, So Andrew moved the light right, so it's going to get on the 45 degree. I'm still talking to the parents. <laughs> I, I, I love that this shoot is last. Okay. Okay, I'm holding baby's back. Baby's laying on my hand. My second hand is there just to grab the baby in case baby will move. So make sure you don't cover the baby's ear. So in case when you're gonna Photoshop the hand, you you will have your ear. So um Right now, I remove the baby a little bit away from the light, which I don't normally do. As you see, the blanket, the four covers my hand, so I don't have to edit hand on Photoshop because on Andrew's level, it's invisible. I only have a little palm left. All right, we moved. It just, I'm sorry, guys, I moved so fast and Andrew sometimes stopped me like just a second move a little bit slower because I didn't move all our cameras to film so uh, yes I work fast um, not that I'm running all around the studio with families maybe yes but not with newborns but here I, since baby's sleeping I want to do as much as possible so you see baby baby is wrapped in the same blanket so I right now, before unwrapping the baby or changing another blanket, I position usually in two different or one different uh, prop, which is blanket that, which is basket, basket or bowl, something that does not require nothing is required, but uh, maybe um, Andrew is really next. Okay, and as you see, I'm not unwrapping the baby. I'm just putting gray blanket over. And as you know, I only have one and a half hour 
to complete this photo shoot because the parents have doctor's appointment and at four and they started and they ha they should leave at one so the two hours drive so and you see I'm not unwrapping the baby I just uh, prepare another prop which is gray bucket and I put gray blanket over the white blanket white wrap made a little you should or you should not whatever you you want I don't know what I'm talking I always talking so I created this beautiful bow this little b beautiful knob knot and using a second prop for the same baby before unwrapping the baby you can go for example you can finish photo shoot here by adding just prop after prop there's people who ask how many props how many like you know um, I all uh, even though we have a lot it always makes me sad because are you photographing the baby or the prop? It all, the, wherever is my mind. So educate your clients. This is the baby's photo shoot. We don't photograph in every single prop or every single dress or clothes. We want to create beautiful images so you can print one beautiful gallery and beautiful albums for your baby. So something that you can just not just prop 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 good no good crying baby uh, or not you just want the prop just educate your class clients two props if you want pre-shoot the babies in special poses like we do and then photoshop baby into digital poses uh, digital backgrounds that you having and also we having we selling on our etsy store it always helps with the with the gallery it gives like you know these props <laughs> that or fine art look all right stop these shoes are uncomfortable ignore them i will never wear them again This baby's so cute. He was just sleeping. As you see, I grabbing with the blanket. And moving baby to the bean bag and I'm wrapping all coats and also I don't know how many how many poses we did we did like already good amount of poses and still baby still sleeping so not even hour pass and you're gonna get beautiful gallery without even unwrapping the baby don't try to create all Pinterest images possible that your client sends you it's from different photographers different photo shoots it's not it could not go it could it can be from the same photo shoot. It can be all, but uh, but usually they just choose the gallery or this pose, this pose, it's pose, and it can be completely uh, different. And it frustrates the baby. It wakes a baby, and it's stressful to the baby. Think about baby first. Yes, uh, parents' desires is first, but educate your client. Always educate your client. Okay, we can do something like this, this, this is just for a baby. Always point, they, they want cute photos, but sometimes parents forget about, um, you know, we're not gonna be there for, a, they don't know how the photo shoot goes. They know the, their baby sleep in the crib for three hours, but baby will, 
uh, we move the baby all the time. There is a new smell, new noise, noises, uh, different music. Uh, and baby might not sleep for the full three hours like baby sleeps no, without nobody touching uh, at home. So educate your clients, always talk to them. Okay, we can do something like this and, and this, but, and explain. For example, they told me they should leave. So I was trying to create more poses when the baby's wrapped because um, I will not have enough time. If, for example, if the baby, uh, when I unwrap the baby and baby will, uh, W wakes up or w want to eat so and I will not have time to for example and that's like 30 or 30 minutes to call like to make the baby sleepy again because when mama is her in hurry baby's feeling and for example if you have short amount of time for example like you have like 30 minutes left and it, and mama is feeding please tell mama to fully feed the baby without like two seconds because when baby is not full she'll be crying like if she feeds five minutes you're gonna uh, calm the baby another 25 minutes it's better to feed whole 20 minutes and get your shots done in 20 in 10 minutes hope I got it clear yes it's better give all time possible for for the baby Never rush with the baby, even if your time is out or wherever time is out. Um, it's better to be patient. Yeah, this shoot was, was, oh my gosh, this girl was so adorable, so awesome. You can't even imagine this, her smile, her, oh my gosh, the, so cool. Look. It's just so easy for her to be, oh, look, he, f he fell her. He just turned for the kiss. Mm -hmm. He wants his little, his big sister. Big sister, take me aw away from this photographer. I got my shots. Uh, I don't know what I was uh, repeating the, the food. I remember I got my shots and, oh, the baby was looking and, yeah, no. Okay. Good. Beautiful. She's so good. You can't even imagine how good she is. Sometimes bigger kids are, uh, I can't say egoistic, but they kind of maybe a little jealous or something, but she was like enjoying every second I asked to, um, to have a, sh a shoot with the brother. Okay, I prepared two more props. As you see, baby's not unwrapped. And mom already told me they have to leave. I ask Andrew to bring pillow. Okay, always be with the baby. If baby roll over, so make sure you hear. Make sure you hear. Andrew is holding. Say so one, two, three. He feels the baby is calm. He feels stable. Doesn't move. When I say one, two, three, he will move his hand for a few seconds. One because I, ch I check the light first I check uh, aperture and then see I got my two shots yeah and they're adjusting the baby so uh, his um, he his eyebrows are not squinted so same thing without moving the baby I just went closer and I did same shot from above with my 50 millimeter lens.